Good morning, my name is Vitória Brito and it's my honor to present Feminine Genital Hyperchromia, a case control study. This is our disclose. Melasma is a type of hyperchromia which usually appears in the facial area, but it can also appear in the genital area, which is the genital hyperchromia. It can influence on the self-image, sexual function, and quality of life of many women, despite being poorly documented in the literature. The causes are not clear, and there are no studies on the prevalence of the genital hyperchromia. So the aim of this study is to evaluate the risk factors for genital hyperchromia and the impact on women's quality of life. This is a case control study involving 135 women. The case was defined on women with the complaint of darkening of the genital area and confirmed by the team of physicians and physiotherapists of the service. The control group was composed with women with no complaints of darkening in the genital region, and we excluded those who were not proficient in Portuguese, pregnant women, or women with genital congenital mal malformations. The participants of the study were taken to an individualized room, and there they answered a questionnaire with social demographic information and variables related to the hyperchromia of the genital region, such as hypothyroidism, facial melasma, folliculitis, dermatitis, dermatological pathologies, sun exposure, use of tight clothing, composition of underwear, and type of hair removal. The study participants also answered the Melasma Quality of Life questionnaire in the Portuguese adapted version. This questionnaire consists on 10 specific items for measuring the quality of life. It comprises three areas, social life, recreation and leisure, and emotional well-being. On a scale of one, as not at all disturbed, to seven, as disturbed all the time. The final melasma quality of life score can vary between 7 and 7 points, with higher values indicating worse quality of life. The data collection was carried out from June to August 2020 at the Patricia Lordelo Institute in Salvador, Bahia, and also through an online questionnaire due to the pandemics. The logistic regression model was used to assess the risk factors in the occurrence of the outcome of genital hyperchromia. The independent variables had the statistically significance of p lower than 0.05. The results were presented using odds ratio and its respective 95% confidence interval. This research was approved by the Research Ethics Committee, and all participants signed the free and informed consent form. These are the tables of our results, and this is the interpretation of the results. 91 women had genital hyperchromia, and 44 women were in the control group. The average age of the group of genital hyperchromia was 31.3 years old, plus or less 11.7 years. The average age of the control group was 26.4 years old, plus or less 10.7 years. The variables facial melasma, type of hair removal, sun exposure, and underwear composition were directly related to the hyperchromia. After logistic regression analysis of the independent variables, we can state that the risk factors for genital hyperchromia are age due to the influence of hormonal factors and type of hair removal due to the physiopathological mechanisms of melasma. The average of the melasma quality of life questionnaire was 29.03 points plus or less 13.78 points in the group of women with hyperchromia. Based on the results, we can conclude that age and type of hair removal are important risk factors on the genital hyperchromia. 
also, intimate aesthetics has a strong impact on women's quality of life and self-esteem, and media establishes a standard of beauty in the present times. Thank you once again for the opportunity.